In this exercise, you needed to check the code coverage of our unit tests to figure out which part of the source code was not tested. When we right click on the test service directory and run with coverage, we'll see that everything is covered except for a few lines. Clicking into this package, we can see that the totals with discount calculator has 85% coverage of lines. Clicking into the class, we can see that we've missed the check for users who have run out of credit. In order to test this, we'll need to either add an additional parameter to one of our existing tests or create a new test that specifically looks for this scenario. Here's one way we could solve this problem. We've added a new user to our parameterized test list who only starts with a credit of five. We expect that when this user attempts to calculate the total, the remaining value will be $10 minus five, so five. This solution works, but the point of this unit test was to check the difference in behavior between regular and platinum users. So it's a good idea to separate our additional check into a new unit test. To do that, we would just look to make a standard unit test that looks specifically for the scenario where the user has credit less than the subtotal of items in the cart. This method verifies that if a user has a credit of 15 and the item costs 20, that after getting the totals, the remaining value is five. Now, if we rerun test coverage, we should see that 100% of lines are covered.